So if you're a Trello user like me and you love tools and add-ons that speed up your workflow and make your life easier, your mind is about to be blown with this amazing Trello power up that adds your Gmail emails to your Trello cards in a two-way sync. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it and start using it within just a couple of minutes so that you can up-level your whole Trello system. Thanks so much to Cardbox, the Trello power up that I'm talking about today for sponsoring this video. I am genuinely obsessed with this power up. I've been using it for the last few days and it's already saved me tons of time. So I'm really excited to be recommending it today. Okay, so obviously for privacy and GDPR reasons, I can't show you my actual um, customer board that I have set up on Trello with my actual customers in it, but I've just set up a demo one here so that we can see. Um, I've just got this set up so that when I get inquiries coming in, I can add um, the people as a card here, um, and then I can move the card along these different lists as their status as a lead changes. Um, I just wanna be able to keep track of who I'm speaking with, who's scheduled in, who I'm currently working with, etc. So that's how I have it set up at the moment. Now, what I would previously do is actually just copy and paste emails into the comment section or into the description. But now that we have Cardbox, we're going to go ahead and install this so that we can have the emails added automatically to these cards so that we can keep track of all of our communications as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click install this on Trello. I'm already logged into my Trello account, so it's opened this up and we're just going to add the power up in here. And then from this drop down, I've just selected which board I want to connect this power up to. It's the CRM board that I just showed you. We're gonna add it and then go back to the board. So now it's giving us a bit of an introduction of how it works. I'm gonna click connect to Trello and just give it authorization to allow us to connect both of these things. Okay, so setup is complete, got it. And then to finish up this connection, we obviously need to make sure that we're logged into the right Google account. So I'm gonna sign in with that. Then obviously we just need to make sure that we're giving the card box and Gmail access to all of that stuff in Gmail to authorize it. And now we're all set up and I can actually view my Gmail inbox right from within here, which is awesome. So I can see I've had three new emails. One is my Google security alert um, to let me know that I've connected a new um, tool to my Gmail. I've got a welcome email from Cardbox and I've got a Trello authorization um, power up notification here. And I can actually view all of my emails from within here. And right from within Trello, I'm still in the Trello interface here. I can actually create a Trello card from this email that I've just opened as well, which is really cool. Or I can attach it to an existing card. If I just exit out of this, in order to get back to that screen and view your whole inbox right from within Trello, within this board, I just need to click that Gmail by card box um, section here, wait for it to refresh and it is all um, set up in here. I like how it's also a two way sync as well. So I can see in my actual Gmail here that I have these three emails that I just mentioned and it can see that I've opened one of those emails um, from within the Trello board that I just did. Okay, so we can now access our whole Gmail account from within this Trello board, which is great. Great, but how are we going to apply this to actual customer or client communications? First of all, I've actually just sent myself an email and um, pretending that I am this Joe Blogs. So this is now in my inbox. I'm just going to open it in Gmail here so you can see it's in there. Now what we're going to do is open up the card for that client. So this is for Joe Blogs. And you will see that this Gmail by card box um, area is now set up in here. So I'm just going to get rid of that notification and click attach. And this is going to attach that email thread that, I've, uh, that I'm selecting here. So I'm going to choose that exact email that I just showed you. And it's going to display this email thread, which is live, which is dynamic. It's going to automatically sync and update as replies comes come in and as you send replies to the client right from within this card. So you don't need to hop between Gmail and Trello anymore. So if I click this arrow, it will open up the full email so that I can view it in a wider screen and I can reply straight from within um, this uh, power up within Trello, which is awesome. So I can just do send a quick reply like that. Or you can do all of that as well by clicking these three dots, hit reply, and it will open up where you can type in your reply again here. You can also remove it from within um, these three dots or view it in Gmail and it will open up the email thread from within your Gmail um, screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a reply to this from within the power up and hit send. You can also add attachments and do anything that you might normally in a normal email. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check 
within um, Gmail here whether this has updated. I'm just going to refresh it. And yes, I can see that the response has um, is showing up in my Gmail. It's a little bit confusing because I'm trying to reply to myself to demonstrate this to you. But if it was um, obviously someone else that you were speaking to, it would come from um, you and then their reply would come from them. Um, I'm just kind of talking to myself in this thread. So it works in that way, syncing. Let's test it and see that if we reply inside um, Gmail, whether that shows up in Trello as well. Okay, so I've sent the email from within Gmail. Now, the awesome thing is that Cardbox actually will automatically update if we just refresh it and show you any replies that you've done from within Gmail as well. And it will tag it with this little new um, red icon here, which is amazing because then you can see what's been read, what hasn't, and it just makes the whole process so easy. And it also adds the new tag and a little bit of an introduction of what the email was on the front of the card, which again, just makes this so easy. It means you don't really need to be logging into your Gmail anymore. You can manage all of your client inquiries straight from within Trello, which just means you're able to to turn this into such a powerful time-saving CRM system where everything is all in one place and the fact that they have a free plan as well and you can do all of this just with the free version is just amazing. So you can see how having everything in one place without even having to have Gmail open in a separate window and copying and pasting things over is absolutely game-changing. You can get started for yourself with their free plan. I've left a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week with another video.